Today I'm going to get a dent out of a Cervini tuba. It is in the lead pipe. Uh, it's kind of a hard dent to get out. It's right there. Um, and it goes around some curves, so normally you go in with some mandrels, but you can't really go in with a mandrel because it's around a curve. Um, and you can see here the tubing goes like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in through the valve. You really don't need too many tools for this job. Uh, some of them that you'll need are the Ferris uh, N57G. It's a dent ball set. Um, and it's made by Ferris Tools. They're in Battle Creek, Michigan. Um, and there are 101 dent balls. And they're in 5 thousandths of an inch increments, starting at uh, like a quarter inch and up to three quarters of an inch. Um, and they will help you push out the dents just a little bit at a time. Another one you'll need is the uh, Freeze uh, N56. Uh, it's a, a dent cable. And it's uh, a, just a cable with a hand on one end and then a threaded end on one, the other end of the cable. The other cable has another threaded end that you put together. You put the dent balls in between them. Then you also need a screwdriver and a dent hammer um, and a rawhide mallet. It's really about all you'll need. There might be a couple others that we'll run into when we get into the job. So we're going to start by uh, taking out the valve. Take off the valve cap. The reason we're doing this is because we have to get the cable into here so that we can start working the dent out. We'll pull the valve out. And we'll pop the valve out. Now that the valve is out, we can get the cable in uh, through there. And then we'll push the cable in. And then we'll work on our dent. We have to choose the size that will fit in there. Uh, you just do that, you eyeball it. That's too big. And it's still a little too big. Eh. Probably can use a little smaller. Okay, we'll start with this one here. You take the cable, the threaded end, and you push that through. So it comes out here. You have to be careful because you can damage the um, uh, the ports right here if you're not careful. So you just uh, Make sure it do, the metal does not rub on that too hard or else you can make a big mess. Um, then you put on the dent ball and you get the other side of the cable and you screw that on. And then we're going to pull this dent ball through. And again, you got to work this carefully. And if you're not comfortable with this job, don't do it. Uh, you can just enjoy the video if you want, but don't do this on your tuba if you're not totally comfortable with what you're doing. I'm going to turn it over so we know where we are. And the way you figure out where the dent ball is, Take a magnet. I have a little magnet. It looks like a um, looks like a little tack, but it's uh, has a magnet at the end of it. And we're just gonna put that there. Well, the dent ball is up to there. So yeah, we're about the, we're about the right place. And then uh, you have to pull it through now with a little more force. You still have to be careful, uh, but it, um, as long as you know the metal is okay on both ends. You're not really going to do any damage because there's a protective sleeve there. 
Then you pull it pull through. And then you can see the dent came out just a tiny little bit. And then we're going to go up the next size. Take the next size dent ball and we'll uh, pull it through again. You just got to pull it back through the way we came. Um, if you've gotten the dent out a little bit, then what you start doing is tapping the sides. You can see how the sides are higher than the other part. When the, when the dent gets pushed in, what happens is the metal on the one side gets pushed in and the outside gets pushed out. So what we're going to do is the stuff that got pushed out, we're going to tap it in. Okay, we pushed in a little bit. Now we're going to take the next few sizes of dent balls, run them through, oh, probably another four or five, six times, and then we'll tap it again. Well, as you can see, the dent is out most of the way. Um, you can still tell it was there a little bit, but it's uh, a lot better than it was. Um, the lacquer also has been, whenever you get a dent, the lacquer uh, kind of uh, checks a little bit and it makes it uh, so that you can still tell it was there, but it's a lot better than it was. Now all that's left is putting the valve back in. We'll put the valve in, and then the rotor cap. Um, you line it up. There's the line. Right there. And I have a, uh, uh, a dowel with a hole in it, and put that over there. Tap it in. And the valve cap. And the phone rings. And then you Tap the cap down a little bit until it stops, and then the valve is all set. And then I'm going to get the phone.